let's take a look at using console scenes within Studio One Three to enhance our productivity when we're working with complex songs and arrangements. Now, this is going to be useful for those of you who are uh, working on a mix that, say, has a lot of tracks and channels within the console, and it can kind of get overwhelming if you have... This is actually pretty tame here, uh, but if you're working with 40, 50, 80, you know, a whole lot of different channels and tracks within your mix, then... Um, it's helpful to have an easy way to view the channels that you want to work with and navigate around in the console in a quicker way. So before we get into the scenes, just know that we have the option to here, we can show uh, audio channels, instrument channels, effects channels, or bus channels. Now, what do we have right now? We've got a lot of instrument channels here. I've got an um, impact and the channels are separated out. Um, and we've got a couple of presence instruments here with a cello and a violin. We have an effects channel and a bus. So if we would like to hide our instrument channels, we can click this icon here and all of our instrument channels are out of view. If we'd like to hide our effects, we can click here. If we'd like to hide our bus, there. Now, of course, uh, we're typically going to have some audio tracks as well and this icon here will hide those. Now if I click here we can bring back our bus, bring back our effects, and bring back our instrument tracks. Now this is going to be a very broad uh, viewing option but what if for instance we have these impact tracks, uh, our drums, if we have a group of drum channels that we would like to just view those or a group of vocals and we just want to view those, we can then set those up as scenes. And we do that here in the channel list. These little white circles next to the uh, channels are what we use to hide or view the channels in the console. So this is where we begin to set up our scenes. Now if I would like to set up a scene just for the drums, I'm going to deselect the choir, that female vox, this is the start of our drum tracks. We've got impact, then it comes down to snare two. Then we move on to our strings. So I'll hide the strings, the cello, the violin, our effects, and our bus one. Now we just click this plus icon there. Then I'm gonna call this drums and hit enter. And then let's take away our drums. and bring in our cello and violin. I'm going to hit the plus symbol and call this strings. And just before we go any further, um, I did try holding shift and selecting the group of drums and then choosing to deselect those by clicking one, but that doesn't work. So maybe that will be something that comes out in an update where we can deselect a whole group without having to come in and individually do them. So what do we have now? We have our strings and drums. Let's get rid of the strings and then do our female vox and our choir. We'll click the plus icon and then call this vox. Hit enter and OK. And then now we can come below here and then choose our strings. We've got our cello and violin. We can choose drums and we can go to our Vox. Now if I, I meant to do this in the beginning here, but we could uh, create a scene for everything active and we'll just call this all channels. And so now we can navigate between all of these different settings very quickly without having to go in and click individual uh, channels to hide or show. Now if you take note here, when I, when we were working with these icons here, if I get rid of all of the instrument channels within the console, if you take note up here within the arrange view, the tracks will go away as well. So as I deselect that, then those disappear. If you would like for your tracks, your instrument tracks, or any other 
sort of tracks uh, that match what's here in the console to remain when you remove them from the console, we can uh, enable that. And we would click on this wrench icon here. This is the options for our console. And we can deselect the link show hide of track list and console. So if I deselect that and then come back and hide our instrument tracks for the console, then as you can see, they remain still up here in our arrange view. And if I go ahead and show those once again, I'll come over to the track list. Now when we're in the track list, if I deselect here, then the channels within our console remain as well. And again, if we come to this wrench icon and then link that, then you can see that they are once again linked and it was kind of out of view here but they are going away as I deselect here within the track list. Now one last option that you have available to you is if you have an external control surface connected to your uh, PC and are using that within Studio One Three. We have this little button here that we can choose remote. And if I activate that remote, we can come in and say you would like to have just your drum tracks available for control on that external surface. Then we can come in and deselect all of these. And then now only the highlighted channels here are going to be available for control on your external controller. And if I deselect, then we come back to normal. And anytime that you want to use that control surface with those specific uh, channels, then you just go ahead and select that. And then now those are active on your external controller.